watching CBS 2 News in high definition. Then and now, a brave woman who lost her arms and legs because of a medical mistake shows off her new prosthetic limbs. Press this. Beating the odds. You get one life to live. New prosthetics for a local woman robbed of her limbs. Coming up, we're there as her emotional journey reaches a turning point. And getting used to her new prosthetics. A young amputee and the emotional journey that brought her to this day. Also later at 6. It is a lesson in positive thinking and an example of incredible technological breakthroughs in medicine. A quadruple amputee who can now once again hold hands. CBS 2's Dr. Holly Phillips joins us now with more on this incredible story. Oh. Cheryl, it's really very, very inspiring. You may remember the story of Tabitha Mullings we've been following since 2008. After battling a severe infection in her bloodstream, she lost her limbs and some of her eyesight. But now, thanks to some breakthrough technology, she'll soon be able to do things she never thought possible. You get one life to live, and if this is how you have to live it, then live it. That's been Tabitha Mulling's best medicine in overcoming incredible adversity, a positive attitude. An alleged misdiagnosis resulted in an infection, which robbed her of her limbs and left her legally blind. She learned to walk again and even to write. It's true that it was hard for me to go out there and be myself and walk down the street and not see people staring at me and pointing fingers and um you know, and it was very uncomfortable. Last week, Mullings was fitted with two hands by Ortho Remedy. She's a lefty, so she received a functioning left hand first. This is the first prosthetic hand that has individually functioning fingers. Each finger has its own motor, so she can open and close the hand on command. For now, there's a clear glove to show how the machinery works. It will be replaced by a natural-looking custom glove. And eventually, Mullings will have a functional right hand as well. It costs about $70,000 for one arm. You can actually see on her hand where the switches are. You see that little red mark? That's where more of the myelic switches are for the hand opening process. Mullings activates those switches by flexing muscles in her arm. There's no sensory feedback, so Mullings has to learn visually how hard she's squeezing something. She's been practicing with paper cups, and another first for Mullings, she's now able to wear her engagement ring on her finger instead of around her neck. It's a beautiful thing when you can see it in your hand all at all times. Through all of this, Mullings has kept her spirits high for herself and her family. Don't let your life go to waste. You're here for a reason. The company that made the eye limb hand has developed three different sizes that fit most men and women, and they say they're now designing a version for children. Also in health, a new survey.